of what you guys find? We found a staple. They might be using that part they to might shave. Be. Yeah, they could. But this is any razor box. blade? Oh, yeah. where did you find that? After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I've been a corrections officer uh, with Randall County for about a year and a half now. Absolutely love it. You know, the, the brotherhood that you have here, is that, that's what makes it uh, worth it more than anything else. Front jab! Back, back! Front jab! Back, back! Elbow strike! Back, back! Front jab! Back, back! Elbow strike! Back, back! Angle kick! Back! Engage! Back, back! back. back. Disengage! Back, back! back. Enter your stands! Where is it coming from, your threat? The front, right? All right, Oliver, I just got done speaking with Gordon. Uh, he, he's not going to cuff up, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and call the SRT team, have them uh, meet in the SRT room. We're going to go ahead and suit up. All SRT team members, I need you to go ahead and suit up. Uh, we got this guy, Gordon, down here who's in an overflow GP lockdown cell, and I need to move him over to segregation. I tried to talk to him. He's refusing to uh, cuff up, so I'm going to have the team suit up, and we're going to go ahead and move him. I tried to give him numerous opportunities to comply, but he didn't want to comply. He said, these are my demands. He pulled out a piece of paper, started going with his demands, and said he pays taxes. Um, he, said, uh, he said he wants a pension. He said he wanted to use my phone. The initial plan is secure an arm, secure an arm, secure legs. But if they... If he, if he goes down and they can secure his legs, I'm going to pin him with the shield, and you guys grab his arms. Cool. So we'll just, you know what I mean? Go over. Situational awareness. Be aware of what's going on. Oh, yeah. Does that fit that head, bro? Are we ready? We're there. Let's go. Work with each other, not against each other. Yeah. We'll go in. I'll try to get him to cuff up to the bean hole. If he refuses, we're going to go in. We're going to cuff him up and then transport him over to the safe. All right, I'm going to give you one more opportunity. Cuff up. If you don't cuff up, I'm sending a team in. You gonna you gonna cuff up? I would like to do it. Okay. At this time, inmates refusing to cuff up. He's right here at the door. There's no weapons. The floor is dry. Um, no weapons. Floor is dry. No weapons. Cluster one, CS one forty eight, CS one forty eight. Go go go. Get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. Pull his feet. Pull his feet. Pull his feet. Somebody grab his feet. Right. You don't want me on the ground? Go to the ground. Go to the ground. Here's the taser if you need it. Get him down. There you go. Get that other leg. Spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Spread them out. Hey, Littleford, Littleford, you're on top of them and you lay. Pull them back. Face down. Face down. I'm done, sir. Give me your arm behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. Right arm coming back. Scuffs. You all right, Littleford? You all ready? You're good. Don't worry about it. Relax, big boy. I tried to avoid all this. We're not, sir. I tried to tell you. We're to not, up. sir. 
We're, we're, we'll give you an opportunity to walk like a man. Yeah, roll over on your side. One, two, three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All right, let him put his Crocs on. I'm going to pull my pants. I got a little one. You good? What's that? All right. All right. They won. He's going. He's going to five star. So. Don't don't worry about what they got to say. Can you come down to CA side, come check out an inmate that we had to go in on? You clean up a cut on an elbow. My wrist is just coming off a of right in the head. How'd, you, how'd you hurt your wrist? I hit somebody. You hit somebody? Yeah. I broke it in the broke my hand in my wrist in the growth plate. You'll get to look at it here I didn't in just know, a minute. I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was It's because it's you're, you're all amped up right I'm now. Not amped up. Oh. Well, you were. We're not no more. Oh, we're good. Up. I just want a pencil, man. A pencil? You didn't say nothing, but you said give it. You said you weren't gonna. You started you giving me some. You remember me asking for a pencil? I remember you giving me some I'm demands. Your boss and say I asked for a pencil before you ever called, sir. You remember that? Asking for demands. No, I remember you asking, saying that you want a pension. A pencil? No, not a pension. I have a pension. Oh, you said you wanted, I wanted a pencil. You said pension, and then no. you pay your taxes, and then you said yeah, you I wanted said, to use my. What I said was. was I wanted a pencil to fill out the form uh -huh. to get a lawyer so I'll know if I need a lawyer. Because uh -huh. Texas laws are kind of screwy. So all, all of this is over a pencil? Yes, sir. Well, a, a towel. I didn't have a towel. I didn't get the soap that I paid for. Uh, I don't get tea. All, all you had to do was respectfully ask for some towel and the soap. Uh, we would have checked it out. Can I talk to Sergeant Gibbons? Without you jerking me around? You can talk. Why didn't you tell me all this? I tried to, sir. No, you didn't tell me nothing about a towel or You soap. said. You said you wanted to use my cell phone. You had to use the phone, so you said, sure. I knew that was a lie. I never said you can use the phone. You asked to use my cell phone. Remember, I said I wasn't going to let you use it. You didn't know if I was getting bailed out or coming to SEG. I told you we weren't getting bailed out. I did. Whatever. Right. Just get out of here. I don't need, we got, I don't need medical. We, we have to. It's regulation. No, you don't. I got medical en route right now. They're going to clean that up real quick, and we'll be out of your hair. Well, I don't want to. You, you, we got to clean it so up. So the search going to take me down? No. No man for does that? I don't want to let him. It's against my religion. To have him wipe your to blood? To have him any medical. All right, well, we'll let, we'll let him look at it. It's against my religion to be examined by a medical professional. Are you going to break my religion? He's got a small cut on You want to go to heaven? And will. Now, if you go against my religion, I'm going to get in trouble. Right? I'm going to get in trouble. You agree? Yep. Can I come track this stuff Come on. Just lay him down. Lay him down flat. Lay him flat on the bed. We're good or no? Are we good or no? Oh, I almost. Oh. Almost. Oh. All right. Gordon. Yes. We're going to back out. Okay. We're going to come through the bean slot. You can walk right yeah. now. All right. I'm good. All right. Let's go, man. Best thing out of y'all walking in. Yeah. We got it. Pop the bean hole. Here. Okay. 
Shut that door. All right, Gordon, keep the hand right there, bro. All right, pull your hands in the bean slot. We'll get your stuff for you. Uh, we'll get your stuff. Um, we'll, we'll grab his. Let's go ahead and get back on our uh, regular schedule. Uh, after we get done with our officer breaks, we'll pack this stuff and then bring it back up. Let him give him a chance to cool down. Because I have a feeling right now, if we go, if we deal with him anymore, he's just going to get amped. Yeah, he's just going to keep getting amped up. Our goal was to extract him and reach the camera in another cell, which uh, we were effectively able to do that. So overall, it was a successful uh, mission. OK, good, Oliver. You got his stuff back? Yes, sir. I knew when we decided to move him, he wasn't going to go willingly. Yeah, I, you know, it's always best in those type of situations to have the SRT team suited up uh, okay, for safety cool, reasons. Cool yeah. We just completed a successful cell extraction. No injuries. I was able to get the inmate moved over. Now I need to go to booking, deal with a combative inmate coming in through intake. Animal Police Department's bringing in a combative. Is it this guy right here? Let's go see what we got going on. What do we got, guys? Drunk? What's his first name? Ronald. Ronald, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's wrong? Keep on teasing me. Think everything's a joke. You better keep his mouth shut. All right, hey, listen to me real quick. Yes, sir. How much have you had to drink today? Oh, a lot. A lot? What's a lot? Eight forties. Eight forties? Have you been doing any drugs or anything? I quit the drugs. All right. Well, that cop right don't, there. Don't worry about him. Don't right. worry about him. Listen to me right. real quick. Look. What's your name? Sergeant Gibbons. Don't worry about these guys that brought you in, OK? It's not about them no more. It's about us, all right? You cooperate with me, I'm going to cooperate with you. We're going to get you done. Some meat? I'm going to feed you all kind of all sandwiches. Right. I'm going to feed you sandwiches for days, son. All right? All right? But you got to cooperate with me, OK? Right. Come on. I wish you'd take my cuffs off right now. So nah, I you don't want to do all that. Beat the him. He's a good dude. Don't worry he about him. He ain't no good dude. He is. He, he thinks everything's a joke. All right, come on. He might all be right. just having a bad day. Oh, no. Wait. Here, let me pull your underwear up so you don't show all the girls. He thinks everything's a joke. All right, let's go. I'll tell you what. I'll be Come on, come on, come on, come on. What'd I say? I said don't listen to them, OK? Don't worry about this. I'm feeding you sandwiches. Cooperate with us. Did you get that bag of dope out of your pocket? You got dope in there? No, I don't. Got I thought you said you didn't do any drugs. You just said you did. I don't do drugs. All right, that's good. All right, come on, sit down and let's take your shoes off. Let's see, watch your hands. Oh. Watch your hands real quick. All right, lift your foot up here. Hey, would you wash my feet? Wash your feet? Nah. <laughs> Woo! They need some washing, no more. No, they? Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go get you some sandwiches. We're going to go in. All Here, right. let me take this off your head real quick. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, that you look good. a lot. You look a lot better. All right, All right. let's roll. All right. I'm coming for you, buddy. Hey, come on, come on. Don't worry about you. <laughs> you can't be messing with nobody. We can't give you no sandwich. I know what. They ain't got nothing better to do than they bust a trunk when they could be out there busting all these crackheads. Yeah, but look, it's not about you committing a crime. It's about keeping you safe. Can you stick your hands through the bean hole for me? Oh, don't. don't fall down. Come here. Turn around for me. Turn around. You can't, you can't eat sandwiches with your hands behind your back. <laughs> hey, we're going to have a medical ask you a couple questions. All right, listen All right. to what she's got to say for me. Can come down here so you can hear me? All right. Yes, huh? she's available. Hold on. Right. Have you been in the hospital in the past 90 days? I can't remember. Can't remember. OK. Are you on any meds? Yes. What do you take? I take it all. But hey, you get them okay. over you, you look good. Oh, thank you. Like all right. You got any brain injuries, Ronald? Oh, no. No? Do you hear voices? Yours. Just mine? OK. Do you... Am I going to get a good dinner still? Yeah. I've got yeah. some right here. We're going to get, get you some right here. Are going to get dinner, though, tonight? Yeah. 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 
Do you I see it? I didn't for dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. I got you a sandwich right here. I'm gonna go get you some more, okay? Hey, am I gonna get a meal tonight, though? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it right hey, now. This is just what oh, we got right do here. Do I get a regular meal tonight? I'm going to yeah. get it right now. This is no, just. No, but do I get a regular meal tonight? Yes. yes. I'm going to get it. Because right I know now. you guys feed a good trays here. We do feed oh, yeah, good trays. Right. Here, you want your do sandwich? Do I get a regular tray tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Here, eat your sandwich. All right. I'll be right back. But I get a tray tonight, right? I'm going to get it right now, All right. buddy. All right. All right, so why are you guys so popular with Ronald? We got called to a laundromat on Amarillo Boulevard, and he was obviously drunk, and I guess he stole the trash can from the owner there. He was screaming and hollering at people in the middle of the street and trying to start an argument or a fight, mm -hmm. so we arrested him for public intox. And, so how'd he end up in the helmet and the legs tied up? He there? told us as soon as he got in the car, he was going to start banging his head on the window. So we shut the door. He starts banging his head on the window. That's so we put over. the helmet on him, mm -hmm. and... Uh, he said he was going to kick the windows out, so we put the leg restraints on him. He was talking about how much he loved y'all, and y'all loved him, and y'all were going to feed him all this good food, and everybody knew him down here. And as much as he drank those 840s, he probably needs some pretty good food to kind of sober up. He probably does. Yeah, yeah. Probably has the drunk munchies. Oh, yeah, he does. I guarantee you he does. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Yeah, take it easy. I got Ronald some food. Hopefully, it'll get him uh, sobered up, and we'll be able to get him through the booking process. Ronald, don't fall asleep on me. You got your sandwich, buddy. All right, uh, how long am I going to be before I get to dinner and go back to the back? Eat a sandwich, sober up a little bit. Just eat your food, sleep it off, and uh, we'll get to you as soon as possible, OK? Oh, hell yeah. I hooked it up, right? Yeah, you did. Look, I, I gave you grapes. Oh, hell yeah, you did good. All right, well, eat your sandwich. Yeah. Get sobered up. All right. Okay. All right. Ronald came in earlier. He's pretty upset, banging his head on the uh, cage in the car. Hopefully, he'll get some food in his stomach, get some sleep, and we'll get him through the booking process. All right, it's been a couple hours since Ronald came in. He sobered up pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get him out, get him booked, get him through the system. Ronald, you ready to come out and get booked in? Yeah. Hey, you got a hell of a hangover. I'm hungover. Yeah. I got a hangover from hell. Do you? Well, let's come right but down you here. Know what? Man, APD, come on, man. What'd I'm they just, do? Man, I'm just sitting drinking in the alley. I'm not even bothering nobody. And, and I want to sit down and have a cold beer. <laughs> and they have, interrupted you, huh? I can see if I was walking around and being stupid, but I can't drink a Beer? Come on, till I get a place to live? Sons of bitches. I gotta go to rehab. I told the judge you're wasting your time sending me to rehab. You're not gonna give up the drink? I've been to rehab 15 times. Just leave me alone, let me drink till I die. See? That's uh, how I put it. But you can't drink in public either, so. It wasn't an alley. Come on, man. It's almost time to eat, ain't it? Huh? What time we eat? Six? Five, about 5 30. Yeah, I wanna hurry up and get booked in because I need to take me a good hot shower. Okay. I don't mind waiting, but nah, I need to go back to bed. I got to hang over. I wouldn't mind just staying in there. Can't you put me in one of the crazy cells? No. Why not? Because we need those for real crazy people. Or can you go put me in Max? Yeah, you're in Max. The one where I got to stay in all day and they get my hour out, put me down until morning, at least, if they got an opening. Yeah, put me in there so I can go to sleep and I'm in my own little cage. OK, I can go for that then. Wait, wait, no, don't put me in there because they give a goddamn paper plates. Put me in a regular cell then. Okay, or a max cell, but a regular where I get okay, a Okay, I need you to relax so I can get right. these prints done, okay? Where, where, where I get a tray at. Okay. Don't put me in the one where you get All the right. paper plate. No, I don't want that one. Put okay. me in the, All right. All right, relax. All right, put me in another one. Wait in the back room or something. Okay. I'll behave myself. Put me way in the back room. But once you get on max, you stay on max, don't you? Pretty much. You can become a good boy and you still got to stay on max, huh? Yeah. That ain't right, though. Why do we come to jail, then? You know, if you can't ever... Upgrade. Oh. Go stand in front of that gray screen for me, OK? Right. You know what I mean? All right, look ahead at the camera. Part cheesy. <laughs> All right, stand still for me. If I don't All like right. the picture, can I take another one? Turn, look down the hallway. <laughs> hey, can you make me a couple of friends to save my mother? <laughs> All right, Ronald. Need a signature right here, right there. All this paperwork to come to jail. One more. Hang on a second. You know, I ought to do something really stupid that really give them a reason to put me in jail. 
Come on, man. All right, Ronald, have a seat, and I'll get everything ready for you, okay? Is that my stuff? Yep, that's your stuff. Andy, can I have a candy? No, you can have it when you get out. That gives you something to look it's forward to. It's got some pot in it. Give me the candy. Don't let me no All right, Ronald, have a seat. I'll get you changed out here in a second, all right? Only in America. Ronald's got a good sense of humor, but he's going to have to take coming to jail seriously. He's going to have to find some way of getting over his drinking if he's going to stay out of jail for good. I've been here at Parker County for a little over four months now. I've worked all over the jail. Down here in Bookings, one of my favorite assignments to work. You see things no one else gets to see, you get to see a different side of other people. Leave each day hopefully knowing you made a difference in someone's life. What you got, man? Aggravated robbery and auto burglary. Do me a favor, go ahead and hop on out for him. Let's step in here. Go ahead, come in, take a left. All right, go ahead and face the wall. All right, man, you got anything on you that's going to poke or stick me or anything? If I did, I'd tell you. Sorry if I smell like fish. I worked Friday night. All right, man, I'm going to take the handcuffs off. When I do, I need you to place your hands on the wall until I say otherwise. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. You can turn around, go ahead and have a seat. I need you to take your shoes and socks off for me. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Have you been injured or hospitalized in the last 90 days? No. Do you have a history of drug or alcohol abuse? Yes. Specific drug? Heroin. Or bits, in general. Do you think you have withdrawals from drugs or alcohol while you've been in jail? I might. I mean, I'm on methadone, too, so I don't know if you guys get methadone doses here. How about we're going to come in here? We're going to do a strip search on you, all right? Let's come in here. Walk on the blue line. With certain charges, we have certain protocols. So with his charges, he is going through a real quick strip search. He's from Colorado, real compliant, young kid. Bobby just made a mistake. Right here. Go ahead, come in, take a left, go all the way to the back. We got a release from our APD crime analysis department saying that they'd had an auto burglary okay. where a, a pistol was stolen. And then about an hour later, they had a robbery at a Teuton Totem just down the street. Our victim actually ended up putting a reward out on Facebook. And so we were on another call after we were looking for our suspect from the robbery. And somebody came up driving down the street saying, hey, your suspect from that robbery is right around the corner. So we took off and sure enough, this guy was sitting in the vehicle. And this was the reward post made there on Facebook. Here's showing the same guy from our, our media release. That was the same guy, same shirt. Just a matter of time at that point. We Mirandized him. He gave us all this information, told us that he had, uh, you know, he had burglarized the mm -hmm. vehicle and he had brought a toot and told him for some money. Just kind of felt like he had to do it. And you can't help but feel bad for the guy, but, no. you know. The law's the law. Yeah, you, know, you can't rob toot and totems. There's I mean, always better ways to step sure. up and do what needs to be done. What brings you to jail tonight? I broke into a car behind Lowe's and took, took a few things out of there. And then after that, went over to my friend's house for a bit. And then he had a, a BB gun. And so I was like, well. And then there was a gas station there too, so I went and ended up robbing the gas station with a BB gun. And so now I'm here. Got up today, was this something you were planning or were you just kind of walking by and realized it's not like I intentionally wanted to do that. I don't know, it just, just happened. It. Just happened. Don't know what went on. I don't do stuff like that, I don't know. Money's tight right now. I needed to pay my utilities. I was short on rent too, so I had to get it up or they were gonna turn it off. And I have a three-year-old and a three-month-old. We just don't have that much money coming in right now. No one ever said life is easy. Well, when you get backed up into a corner. When you're backed into a corner, there's only one direction to go. You just gotta give it time, keep your head up, stay out of places like this. Everything's how you play it out. Hopefully this gives you a new perspective on things and can hopefully guide you to the right track yeah. and get you where you need to be for your kids, for you, for your fiance. Uh, based on your charges, you'll either see a judge or you'll go to arraignment tomorrow morning where they will set your bond. This is the first time I've ever, I've had a clean record, so this is the first time I ever do anything like Chances this. Chances are with it being a first time, then it's not gonna be a huge deal, but 
I mean, it's not, it's not a light thing that you did. They could sentence you to county time or something like that based on the judge. All right. Yes, that's good. OK. He says first time he's coming to jail, so hopefully he learns from it and is able to step up and do what he needs to do for his kids and his fiance. It's all up to him now. I've been an officer here at Potter County Detention Center for a little over a year now. Uh, also, I'm a firefighter for Potter County Fire and Rescue. I just like helping out the community, so doing both of them is an easy way to help them out. We were informed by supervisors that uh, we need to go do a couple shakedowns, which is just random searches of a cell to uh, look for anything such as contraband, weapons, drugs anything extra that they're not supposed to have, see what we can find. Grab your oranges, grab oranges your towels, towels line up at the door, go, gentlemen. Get down. Oranges and towels, go get your towel. Line up by the door. Yep, you're good. Get your wristbands. Don't be talking. All right, Lewis, if you want to start over there, I'll start, start over here, here and work our way around. We'll get tipped off, or they'll let us know when something is going on in the cell that's not supposed to. Here you go, so, Adamson. Awesome. Yep. Shank. Tattoo yeah, paraphernalia. So a bunch of different colors and ink and designs and outlays. So uh, the, somebody's given them brand new boxers, and they've ripped them apart, and they use these for patterns. They draw them out. They can wet it, which will stain it to the person's skin. So what did you guys find? We found a staple. They might be using that part they to might shave. Could. Yeah, they could. But this is any box. Razor blade? Oh, yeah. where did you find that? Where? Let's put it right back where Go you found it. Go put it right yeah. back where you found it. Yeah. That's a game changer right there. That's Big time. Everything. Yeah. Good job, Sanchez. Y'all find it where? Can you rub your hand across? Oh, the there it is. The only issue is. There's two people's bunks right here. We'll bring everybody back. We'll separate these two Terry and tell them, and look, you guys got somebody to tell confess. us. Somebody better tell us whose it yeah. is, or both of y'all will be charged for this because we found it here. We'll play them against each other. Let's do it. Listen up. When we get back, go to your bunk. Stand beside your bunk. Do not talk, do not touch anything, and do not move until further instructed. You two gentlemen, come with me. Go out. Whose bunk is this? Yours? Go out. Tell this where you were at. Go out this way. Keep going. You were on the top bunk in that in that uh, cell, correct? Yes, sir. How long have you been on that top bunk? Since I got here. OK. So you're telling me that you know absolutely nothing about this? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any idea where we may have found this? No, sir. I'm here for child support. So I'm just Is that, I got my release date. I'm just. Ready. I, I understand. I'm with you. All right, man. Just hold tight. Just hold tight. And we'll uh, be back. Okay. Right. He says it wasn't his. I tend to believe him. He's in here on a very minor charge. We're going to go in here and talk to him and see what he has to say about this. Yes, sir. I'm very scared. I'm what do you uh, think I found? I have no idea. Come on, man. I always keep all kinds of contraband. OK. What do you think is going to be the biggest thing that we're really worried about right now that you think we could have found around your bunk? Maybe a razor. OK. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this razor? Maybe. OK. Where'd it come from? Probably a razor that I shaved with. It's been in the dorm for since I've been in there. But I, I have traded it in and out. So you're telling me that you've been taking the razors apart, putting a different razor blade in there, and keeping a sharp one in there? Yeah. What is, for what? To cut string, to cut the handkerchiefs, to do my drawings I love to draw. Okay. The handkerchiefs that you're tearing up the boxers for? I'll buy them. Well, they're not in there no more. 
because that's contraband. You know that once you once you alter them, right? Yes. Sir. All right. So you know what's gonna happen, correct? You're gonna be rolled up. And you're gonna be put on lockdown. Probably quiet. It is quieter. All right, man. Hey, appreciate you manning up and owning up to it. Man. All right, man. Well, you take care. Of I, I ain't trying to kill nobody. Oh, I got you. I got you. But All you right. understand that this is yeah, can't. Yeah, I mean, okay. All right. All right. Hold tight, and we'll get you taken care of here in a few minutes. Every once in a while, you'll get an honest inmate. Hey, did he confess? He did. He did. He said it was his. He said he's been changing. Uh, old razors out for new ones. That that razor was in there whenever he moved in there. He would take get new razors, break them apart, change them out, and that's why he, nobody ever caught it. So it was a good job, good catch. Thank you. I guess we'll be writing him up for. Yeah. Manufacturing a dangerous weapon, 30 days on lockdown. He'll go before a review board and they'll finish it up in a day or two. Born and raised here in Fort Worth, Texas. It's great weather, great environment. Been with the Sheriff's Department about 13 years. Sometimes these people, this is their first time in jail. They're scared, they're nervous. Uh, as officers working down here, if we could get them what they need to get out of jail, I'd like to be able to help them out. Hey, so uh, we have a male inmate back there. Uh, he's transgendered and he is transitioning. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get him his paperwork and uh, go ahead and process it first, okay? okay. All right. We'll house him with the male inmates unless he feels like he's in fear for his safety. Right. Then we'd single cell him. So we'll, we'll talk to him after we process him and see how he feels about that. We'll go from there. So, Michael, why are you here today? Um, for theft. What is it? Theft. Theft? Yeah. Unfortunately, I was in a Target, and um, I forgot that I had a purse on me, and it just totally slipped my mind. So they unfortunately brought me in here, and I asked them, you know, I was like, I'm going to pay for it, but I guess in Dallas, so it's your first Doesn't matter. Time. You've been in jail before for anything? I haven't. You haven't? This is the first time? It's my first time. We're going to go ahead and take your picture. We'll come check with you the rest of the process, and if you have any issues, we'll, we'll talk to you and let us know, OK? Well, everyone here has been so nice so far, so. Well, that's good. I'm thankful for that. I thought it was going to come into, like, a riot or something like that. So. No, no, that's not how we do things here, so yeah. it's definitely not awesome. how it's going to be. That's what we told you through the process. If you have any issues, just to let us know, though. Well, I appreciate you gentlemen for being very, I guess, hospitable. Right, not a problem. So, yeah, thank you. Remember, this is going to be your one-time booking photo. Just make sure you get it right. Yeah. How do I look? Well, I think you're ready to take the picture now. So, Michael, how are you feeling so far being in jail for the first time? I'm feeling a little nervous, but I mean, everyone seems to be very nice. Michael, here's your ID card with your picture on it. Oh, no. Am I allowed to redo it? No, that's the only one. You only had one chance. Oh, no. OK. OK, I'm going to ask you a few questions. How many times have you been to jail as an adult? I don't know. No. This is your first right. time? Have you ever been part of a gang or affiliated with any gang members? No. Do you want to be a trustee while you're here? Do I need to make that decision now? You don't have to right now. You can put in a request later. OK, I'll do that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, now your safety here is our priority. I have my concerns just because of right. the trans. Right, trans. Yeah. I mean, I started this process, you know, years ago. But this is my first year really getting intense to it, where, you know, I'm getting boobs, I'm going through the whole transformation and everything like that. So I'm not worried. And I feel like I'm in good hands with you guys. I'm a big girl. I think I can handle myself. OK, good. OK. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Hey, wait, before you close that, you might want to go ask him if he's ever been in a jail in another county. I don't like being lied to. OK. So Mike. Yes? Have you been 100% uh, truthful with us since you came in? About? about your history of being in jail anywhere else other than this jail, criminal history, any kind of those things? OK, guys. I'm sorry I lied to you guys, and I'll tell you the truth. In this jail, I've never been in trouble, but I do have other charges in other cities, and that part of my life, I'm trying to turn around and not. I'm just trying to get that part of my life, but I am. I do have three more felonies from charges that I do regret so bad in my life, so yes. Well, all, all those other charges or things you've done, I mean, it, it all follows you and, 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 and you know, and I thought it ties into certain everything. amount of years as well, so. But honesty in this place is going to get you farther. Okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. Please right. forgive me. Thank you for checking. 
I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but uh, just kind of how comfortable he was, right. how he was going through the process so easy and right. kind of smooth. You could tell he's been done this before. Hopefully, he hasn't lied to us about anything else. Talk to this lady in one, see what's going on with her. Uh, she's acting up. What's wrong with you? What's going on? Sit down for me. Sit. Just talk to me. Okay. What are you here for? Like, me and my sister got in a fight in April, and I spent um, two months in jail. Or you got in a well, fight, so they charged you with what? Assault on a family member and uh, interrupting an emergency call or 911 call, or whatever. Listen, you get very agitated. I can see that. I'm Just like you are right now. I'm already in jail illegally. But while you're here, I need you to follow our rules. I need you to relax. I'm supposed to get home. I have to do. I need to shower. I need to eat. I'm starving. Like. Then, I'm then in, there you go. There's your reason. I'm in Tarrant County there, Jail illegally. There is your reason to relax, so we can pull you out and get you out of here. So sit there for a few minutes. You stay calm for about 10 minutes. I'll get somebody to come get you. 10 minutes? Yes. You do that? That means no banging on the door? No banging on I the door. No jumping up and down. No, no sticking your middle fingers up. No this. saying I'm anything. Shaking. Yeah, none, none of that. 10 minutes. Can you do that? Yes. All right. Deal. Thank you. 10 minutes. Can I look at the clock? No, stay in there. Audrey, have a seat. All right. Stay, stay quiet. Yes, 10 minutes. Right. And then we'll come back and check on you and get you processed. Uh, Audrey seems to have some anger issues. Sounds like she gets mad at everybody. I think that's why she's in jail right now. She got mad at the officer at the back door also. So we'll let her relax a few minutes and then we'll get her processed. Audrey's uh, getting out now. She's gonna get processed. Audrey. Listen to what the officer tells you, answer her questions, and let's get you out through this. Walk slow, you walk fast. I have long legs. You'll take off on me. No sarcastic remarks. Otherwise, you'll end up back in one of those little rooms and your time down there will be hard. So don't push the limits. There you go, that's the idea. We're gonna go up to the stop sign and you're gonna talk to the medical personnel when they call you up. Just stand there on the wall. Oh, what the hell? You think you can do this? Yeah. Where'd they pick you up today? At my house. At your house? Yeah. Are you drinking? Did you take anything? No. Is I'm this the normal this... laundry? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. This is me whenever I don't have new points. No this new points. Hey, that's going to get you back in that room. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't trust y'all needles, bro. I got to be the so I should be able to call somebody so I don't have to go through all this because everybody gets it. How do I know that the jail with their dirty ass water don't have dirty ass nails? Excuse my language. Audrey. What? Didn't you tell me you would be calm and get through this process and comply? They stick a needle in my skin. They don't want you to stick a needle. They're going to do it. Every single person that walks in here does it. Can I ask you some medical questions? Sure. Everybody that comes in the jail, they get a TB skin test. Audrey is uh, trying on everybody's patience. Seems like she's been doing it since the beginning of the process. Seriously, the water here and the air here is disgusting. How, how, how am I supposed to put a needle in my skin? It's jail, bro. It's just I'm in here illegally. You're just under your skin. It's not deep. OK? You'll be clear. OK? Can right. I see your left one? You can look your way. Just look your way. What if you guys messed up my skin? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mess up your skin. It's protein. Okay? And your papers. Thank you. Audrey, you got a long way to go in this process still. You know that, right? So hopefully you can calm down, can chill out on that anxiety this way. Number eight. Can I get some Xanax? No. I'm going to let you make a phone call. How do I know the phone call is going to be free? Last time I used it, it They're free good. phones. They're free. Nuh-uh. Yes. You're no. lying to me. I don't lie to you. I got no reason to lie to you. I don't know who you are. Then dap it up. I can't do that. 
But what I'm going to tell you is, you need to relax. Stop asking all these questions to everybody. <laughs> ask questions. I'm in prison. You're not in prison. Well, it's basically. No, it's not prison. It's jail. Well, they put a needle on this. Good luck to you, Audrey. Are you Calm down. Back? No. Can we take a ride together in the No, Audrey. Right? Good night. She may make it through this process today, but uh, wherever she gets housed, you know, we'll see how she gets along with other people. Don't know. Wish her luck. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Um, I actually joined the military in 2000. Um, that's how I ended up in Texas. I got stationed at Fort Hood, found the opportunity to become a detention officer for the first time in 2004. I found what I was looking for. I found a sense of belonging to something greater than myself, and that's important to me. Officer Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, you're coming with me. So I had Castaños move somebody earlier on a disciplinary. Um, go ahead and tell them what he told you. When we were coming to J Block, he told me he wanted to talk to me about some contraband that we might find on the tent. Uh, apparently, they have some Xanax, they have some drugs, they have, they have red man tobacco. So we're going to move everybody to a day room. Those two inmates that we already identified, uh, we're going to do a full strip search on them. Everybody else, we're just going to pat them down, send them to the rec yard. Once everybody's out, we're going we're gonna to search the, the block. So we're going we're gonna to hit those two specific bunks and see what we get. Sir. Ready? All right, let's go. Five twenty-nine to the ten. Can you meet, meet me at your door, please? What's going on, brother man? Where? Where? Ah, it was you. Gentlemen, go ahead and go into the day room, please. Gentlemen, everybody to the day room. Wake up. Yeah, I gotta do a search, brother. Gotta do a search. Y'all messing up. We're clear on the bunk area. Right here, brother man. No tobacco. Step outside. Get you some fresh air. You smell like tobacco right here. Ooh. Smell like tobacco. Yeah. It was tobacco. Got another, another glove. This one might have something. Talento, can I borrow your scissors real quick? Might be lucky. Yep, tobacco. Tobacco? Where are you, sir? And whose bunk is it? 48. That's the admin porter, correct? Right, son. Go ahead and pull him in. Here you go. They will usually bring it in on their prison pocket. That's how we call them here. We got more dices. It's gambling. We're not, we don't allow inmates to do any gambling. We just found tobacco in your tub. Yes, sir. Okay. And the reason we decided to come in today was because we heard that you had tobacco. Yes, Someone had brought it in and we sold it to me. He sold it. Left, he yeah. sold it to you. Yeah. He, What'd you give yeah. him for it? It's a couple of soups. A couple of soups. Yes, How long ago was that? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being honest. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. You know what's gonna happen from here, right? Yes, sir. We'll see. We'll go from there. Okay. Yes, sir. You just found more. Ah, tobacco. Have so you never seen this right here? Yes, sir. Okay. It's fresh too. And where was that? Uh, toilet area. Hernandez found it. So I guess our information was correct. We got dices, we got staples so far, paper clips, tobacco, cigarettes, nail clippers. And nail clippers. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. And this and is all this sign. is all off the same same email. Same out of five. Okay. These are our trustees. That's why we can trust them. I have a little tobacco there. They used to make the cigarettes with. This was found on the same inmate with the rest of this stuff here. It was wrapped up in the tip of a glove. That's probably how we smuggled it in. Ain't no telling where that has been. Now, the tobacco itself is not only a facility rule violation, it can actually lead to criminal charges. Uh, Texas state law will allow us to charge them because although tobacco in and of itself is not illegal, it is a prohibited substance in our facility because of our policies. Whether or not I actually charge him with that, it's up to him. If he decides to be cooperative with me, I can work with him. We can keep it internal. If he decides not to, then we can find other ways to for corrective action. We're continuing to search. We'll see what else comes up. So far, so good. So here's the deal. There's some stuff that I'm going to want to discuss in private with you. Um, some stuff that I want you to clarify. I know you did. You did fest that it is yours. 
which I appreciate. Most people try to lie their way out of it, so I appreciate your honesty, okay, right off the bat. Um, you are gonna get, you're gonna have to move. I'm pretty sure you saw that coming. Um, you are gonna get reclassified. However, because you were honest with me from the get-go, I'm not gonna rack you. I'm not gonna stick you in max, I'm not gonna rack you up. Um, but I am gonna have to take your, your job status, unfortunately. Having the tobacco in here is not only a rule violation, we can actually charge you with it. But it's outlawed by our policy, which makes it prohibited substance, congressional facility, felony three. You don't need that crap. Okay, so we'll talk in private. What happens from there is gonna depend on you. Okay, you'll be the DJ, I'll dance to whatever song you wanna play. Okay? We'll take care of it. So this gentleman here was the one that we found all the contraband on during uh, today's search. He's going to no longer be a working inmate after today, and we'll see what he has to say tomorrow. They're heading back in now. The officer that was watching them will go in and re-enter the tent and resume normal jail operations. Uh, we're done for tonight with this block. Let's see what else we can get into. What I'm doing now is that I'm ensuring that the inmates are classified correctly. Determining someone's classification, we take their rap sheet into consideration, which is their previous convictions, their current charge, things of that nature. That's part of my responsibilities as the classification officer. Mr. Dale? Yes, sir. How many people do we have ready for housing right now? Uh, there's a few we're working on. Um, we've, we've still got a few. we got to get into medically assessed. Uh, there's one we're about to pull right now. He's I don't know. He's been a little uncooperative since he got here the other day, so. Let's go ahead and get him medically assessed first. If you have any issues with him, let me know. Will do. All right, thanks, sir. All right, not a problem. Now, part of the process for getting them housed, we have to get them medically assessed. Um, we have to get them classified, get them showered, get them booked. Yeah, we're hiding you. Just say, if you'd have just gone to medical, yeah, and done what you were told. I was going to ask for some shoes. OK. That's all I did was ask for some no. shoes. Get, take your clothes off. Take your clothes off. Oh, all know. I asked for was some shoes. Take your clothes off. Well, let go of me. Take them off. You need to put your on a man. Take them off. off. All I asked for was some shoes. You said you ain't got any. I don't follow them out there. Take them off. Lie, mother. Don't repeat, man. All I did was ask for some shoes. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> he pulled away from me. <laughs> he did. Down he went? Yeah. Just now? Just now. Where what? were you? <laughs> I was hoping you'd zap him. Call me. You're good. What, was he in a holding cell or was he out of Yeah, he was in a holding cell, and we they needed to move him for whatever reason. Uh, I think it was to go see medical, and he refused to go see medical. Went to grab his arm and lead him out, and he jerked away and kind of kind of halfway swung, you know? Active resistance. So um, he went to the, the wall. Camera, and, it happened, so it happened inside the whole yes, cell? Yes, inside the, the camera? Cell. Yeah. yeah. I'll, pull the, I'll pull the video for you guys. I'm willing to bet we haven't heard the last of him tonight. Okay, I got the footage pulled up of your incident. Okay. Talk me through it, man. What's going on? Well, so he refused to go and see the, uh, the nursing staff to get medically assessed, and um, he had been here for 48 hours, and you know, my policy, if, we, if they refuse to do that, we have to put them in VC and assume that they might be a suicide risk. This is the initial contact we had. Gave him the option to come out. He didn't want to, and then this, oh. and that's when he decided to pull away. He almost hit me when he did it, so that's when we had to get hands on and yeah, he, yeah. forcefully he pulled away him. from you. Finally got him into the cell, and once we got him in there, he was a little bit more cooperative. And All right, good job, brother. Were you under the influence when you came in? No. Uh, you weren't drinking? No? Every time that we tried to talk to you on Monday, it was F off. Yeah, I understand that. I was pissed off. I'm yeah. here for something I know I didn't do. That's probably why you didn't go see the judge, and that's probably why you didn't get a sit down with pretrial, man. So you, you, you got to chill out, man. But you know, I want this weapon stock y'all want, man. Get you booked in. Whatever, man. I just okay. want to black in a mattress, man. And you and me never had a problem, man. I know I didn't do it. What you're saying, I've done, man. Yeah. Words to the wise, man. Whenever we tell you to do something, if... I've got no problem with that, man. It's just how you gonna say it, man. Okay, well, 
If we're telling you to do something and you're not doing it, and then we, we go to get you and help you to do what we're telling you to do. I understand, man. You know? I haven't been right either, man. Okay. Right, so she's gonna go. I, I do apologize, she's gonna go ahead and clean you up. When we get back to booking, you gotta go back in that same cell, or can I put you somewhere else where you can? You can put me somewhere else, man. Okay. Hold this up against your ass. Did you work in oil field? Oh yeah, I have most of my life. What'd you do in oil field? I've done just about everything. I mean, like about, about oil rig, pumping in, service, you name it, I've done it. All right, man. Come on out here for me. We're gonna get your fingerprinted. Get your mug shot and everything taken care of. Get your phone call. Go and have a seat right there, but they're ready for you. The second there. Second, one, second store right there. So you gonna be cool from now on? Yeah. You understand what's going on? Yeah, I apologize for that. Right. Okay, I appreciate that. Listen, I went over your classification. What bumped you for minimum is the fact that it's a felony three, not a state jail felony. Uh, that by repetition. You're being accused of taking two Kawasaki hedge trimmers totaling $1,600. Yeah, theft less than 1,500, two or more previous convictions. Okay. That, that, that was the kicker. That's what bumped it from a state jail to a felony three. Well, that's, that's no way, man. There's no way two hedge trimmers would cost 1,600 bucks, man. They're lucky if they cost 200, but the most. That's what you're accused of, man. All uh, right. Where you got a housing at? Uh, J Block. And that's like where? But it's, it's a dorm setting just similar to the tent. All right, brother, man. So we'll get you out there here shortly, all right? All right. Thanks, Lord. Oh, she said I could get another ice pack if I need one. We'll get you one. Tarrant County, we take pride in uh, making sure our jail is one of the cleanest jails in the state. The officers make sure that we have trustees that we employ. We'll always stay painted, cleaning. We'll wipe down flat surfaces. We look for dust. We look for everything. We don't let anything go unnoticed. Uh, we want the environment to be as clean as possible for our officers. Hey, Connor, what, what's going on with you? Um, just, I missed court the other day. So yeah. Kinda, what what they uh, what they tell you in court? Uh, I hadn't actually got to go to court yet. I just showed up to court for today, and they yeah. kind of took me back there and told me I need to come to jail. What charge you got? What happened? Man, me and my ex-girlfriend we just kind of got in an argument, mm -hmm. and I just bought her a phone like the day before, and we broke up. So I went to her house. Right, and right, right. Basically took the phone. To go get I, the phone back. Right. Took right. the phone that I bought her, and that makes me. You know, criminal. <laughs> did you have to go into? Did you go into her house or to go get the phone? Did she get mad or her parents got mad or what? Uh, yes, sir. Her parents. And, yeah, they all got mad. I mean, everything's cool now with them. That's, they don't have no hard feelings or nothing. Everything seems to be fine with them. But she's kind of the judge now. Not the typical inmate that we normally get being 18. So. But he's got a new CID number. So we know. Right. So he's fresh in here. Yeah, you can really tell that uh, this is new process for him. This is not a, really an environment that he's used to. A lot of these experienced inmates, these convicts, will, will pick up on the fresh ones, the ones that have never been here before. And even here in the booking process before they get housed, it's easy for the younger ones to get manipulated uh, and to do things that they wouldn't normally do. So that's why we walk around with the younger ones. Let's make sure they get from process to process on booking. We'll talk to you later. We got a situation going on over here. I'm telling him to take off all the stuff, put it in the bag. He's refused to listen to me. He says, I ain't doing this goddamn and That's not no, what I said. No, where's the all. property That's bag? exactly not what I said. He slams me on the ground. He takes me over there first. And he's like, well, you want to learn a lesson? You want to learn a lesson? And I was like, I'm really not trying to learn nothing. He's like, well, you're going to learn a goddamn lesson today. And he slammed my head up against that wall right there, threw me on the ground, put me in handcuffs, and walked me out there. I swear to God. Honest story, put it on my life. All right, stand up, turn around. The bag down and turn put your clothes on. Let's talk to it's really not a threat, but I'm not, I'm not in the free world, dude. I swear to God, the way you just slammed my head, ain't a threat or nothing, but I will say something. Put your underwear in that bag, too, Connor. Tell me again what he did. When I was uh, dressing him out, told him to take all off all of his clothes, put them in the bag. I told him to go ahead, put the boots in the bag first. He told me at that point, I'll do how I goddamn well want to do it. 
At that time, I went to take the boots, put them into the bag, and he started to bow up on me. Yeah. So I turned around, I pushed him off onto the For wall. For your safety and everything. Yeah. Told him to stay on the wall or until I could get some additional help. Any inmates back there? Anybody there was one more inmate that back there. I told him to stay on the wall, and then that dude just kept yeah. turning around. Yeah. He got into it with a couple of inmates down there. They were calling him pretty boy, and yeah. one called him a lawyer, right, so right. he was already a little bit aggressive. This is part of him being new in jail and not knowing how to deal with the situation, so we'll just see how he handles it upstairs, and we'll go from there. So. All right. All right, man, thanks. Keep your back on the wall right here. Okay. What happened downstairs? I understand you were a little agitated. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you calm down now? Yes, sir. You understand we have rules? Yeah. And whatever that officer tells you to do, you need to stick to it. If somebody yes, says, sir. put your hands on the wall, you keep your hands on the wall, you don't move. We are going to move you to the other side. But you're going to be OK while you're here. You're going to follow all these rules. I don't know how long you plan on being here. Do you? I'm going to get out of here pretty quick, no as soon as I can. OK. All right. You ready to go back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's in a pod with 70 other inmates, so there's a lot of different situations that could happen. And as if we can correct his attitude, his personality now, maybe it can keep him out of trouble. It seems like he may end up having to learn the hard way with his attitude, but... Uh, he's a little young, a little he naive. Is, yeah, he's yeah. got a lot to learn, so this is a, this is a new place for him. So. It is. He might get on the right path, hopefully. I think he will. down here to Texas about 23 years ago. It's a big state. It's a perfect climate for riding motorcycles, lots of sporting events, going to Rangers games. Uh, probably plan on staying here for quite a while. So, Rebecca, what are you uh, here for today? Uh, theft Sorry. from theft 100 to 700. What, uh, what, what makes you want to take something? Or are you claiming you didn't take something? Because I got caught up in the wrong crowd and got mixed up in the world of drugs and dancing with the devil. It's just a terrible, terrible path to go down. I'm trying to get out of, but... Tell, tell me a little bit about the theft. What was what was the deal there? Um, I was trying to help my boyfriend get out of the situation he was in. Huge mistake. I was taking something to pay off a debt for him to get him out of trouble. And When's the last time you were in jail? Um, about six months ago. What was that for? Probation violation. Or what yeah. charge? Theft? Theft. All right, Rebecca, we're going to go get your picture taken now. You said this is the second theft. Yeah. Do you use any drugs? I do. I smoke meth. You smoke meth? Um, How long have you been doing that? Not even a year. No. No, and I got out of it. I quit. I was clean when I got out of jail the first time. And then I was trying to help him. He shoots it. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to help him, which made me fall back, relapse, right. and get yeah. back into it, which Two I was people. stupid for thinking. Yeah that I could help him, but... Well, we're gonna get your, uh, get your taken. Let's stand right here on this wall for me. So, your boyfriend, how long have you been with him? Um, I've known him for probably about three years, but Since I've been, been with Texas? him. Yeah. yeah. Never been in trouble a day in my life. Never until I moved to Texas and got caught up in drugs. Never even Bad been stuff. in trouble for a speeding ticket. The drugs make you do stupid things, you know? It turned me into someone I don't even know who I am. Like, my mom doesn't even know who I am. I don't know how long you'll be here, whether they'll revoke your probation, but for the time here, you'll have a few days of being clean. Yeah, definitely. I already feel better being off of it. That's good. Ms. Flores here will uh, take care of you and do your ID part here. Okay, thank you. Yep. Right. Rebecca is going to see the judge this, this morning. Um, she's wanted by another county. So let me go talk to her, see what's going on. Rebecca. Over here. How you been? I've been okay. I've been doing better. What are you down here in booking again for? Because my Dallas bondsman went off my bond, I guess, because I got arrested, and that's a violation. Mm -hmm. So he went off my bond, so I guess i got to get rearranged on it. It's a theft charge. And actually, I'm out on bond in Palo Pinto, too. Oh. But Any chance of them to go off that one, too? I don't know. What's that charge? That's a possession. Possession. One to four. Tomorrow's my release date. Right. For here. And then I got 10 days, I guess, to wait for Dallas to come get yep. me. It's OK, because I want to be done with it. Not come back? My mom's already got me set up for rehab and Abilene and everything. So That's excellent. After I get done with all this, I'll be going to rehab, yeah. which I need. That's I good. That'll help me. 
My mom always says, there's only one thing you need to change if you want to get off drugs, mm -hmm. and that's everything. Yeah, she's probably right. Moms usually are. Well, good luck to you, Rebecca. Rebecca seems to uh, have the right state of mind. She's a little better today than she was the first time we talked to her. Uh, she's got some other charges in other counties she wants to deal with. And it sounds like she's got some family out there that wants to help her. So, you know, hopefully she takes the right path and doesn't come back in here when she gets all this taken care of. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my kids. I don't want to be alone. I gotta get